Now, let's wrap up the ideas of the managerial balance sheet and what is its main purpose for management. First, it measures the net worth, the gap between assets and liabilities. This value of staking business is always important for owners. Secondly, checking your balance sheet between days, you can always make sure of your net profit. Finally, when owners didn't take out their profit, they can make out its quality. They can see in the balance where exactly their profit is. Maybe it's frozen in stock, or invested in new equipment, or just being used to pay the debts. Now, let's apply what we've learned for the next practical case based on a true story. Recently, one of my clients asked me to help him out with understanding the real profit generated by his company. He runs some small restaurants and doing some catering. Like many entrepreneurs, he'd never come with a decent net profit and used to control only his cash flows. Now, his business began to grow. He's actively buying new equipment, opening a new restaurant, he's borrowing and sometimes struggling with free cash. He happened to take out some dividends for himself, but sometimes he was forced to return some money back again. And of course, now he was wondering about his real net profit as it was. All we have, only following facts for the year. His cash remained at the same minimum level of 1k approximately. Inventories increased from 10k to 20. Equipment from 50 to 75. And that is good, but his debts increased as well. All his payables from 5k to 15. He also raised borrowings of 20k. What we also know that his takings from business were 10k in this year and his contributions were of 5k. Based only on the facts available, what was the net profit of our man in this year? And most interestingly, how you might explain this result? Now you may pause and try it yourself, or let's do it together just in 10 sec. Now, I'm gonna tell you how it works. First, let's find out what's up in its net worth in the balance sheet. Cash stayed as it was, zero change. Inventory is increased by 10k. He invested in equipment like 25. Have a look how he financing that. His accounts payable increased by 10k, very much like this way this guy financing his stock increase. He borrowed 20k. Now, sum up his net worth, right? Started from 56 and finished with 61. He raised his net worth for 5000. Not a big deal, but quite something. Plus 10k, which he took out. Minus 5 he returned. So we have 10k. Bottom line. That means that his net profit was 10,000 for this year. One half invested in new equipment, another one was out as dividends. That is exactly what I say.